Hey there, Chef K here. I'm taking your taste buds traveling and we're headed south doing some southern cuisine. It's going to be fun. I'm doing my twist on chicken and waffle, making a little heat to it. And I'm going to do a tortellini alfredo mac and cheese. Yes, I did just say that. Oh my gosh. So we're going to put that together in my granny. I'm bringing her to the party today. She made a frozen lemonade pie for me every birthday and I'm going to show you how to put it together at home. Stay with us. Okay, so we're headed south. First, I'm gonna to put together my tortellini Alfredo mac and cheese. When I was doing the Yorktown market days down in Virginia, this was what my actual fans called my crack and cheese because they said it was so addictive. So I put together, I make my own Alfredo, but you can use a prepared one if you want. It's okay because we're gonna bake this in. We're gonna cover it with some more cheese. There's just cheese, cheese, cheese. The cheese I'm using is four cheese tortellini. And you wanna just cook it up the way the package says, and then we're just gonna put it in a baking dish and add that Alfredo Alfredo to it and get it stirred in. Mm -hmm. This is just the death by cheese. <laughs> like those death by chocolate. This is death by cheese. Here we go. Put that in, mix this up together, fold that in, get those tortellini nice and coated. Beautiful. And we're going to bring our cheese to it. I've got this right here. Just some mild cheddar. You can go sharp cheddar. What do we say? It's your taste buds. So you put it the way you want. Any way it goes, it's cheese and it's mac and cheese. It's the dish of the South, right? You can't go wrong. So we're going to put more little cheese in as I stir it in. There we go. And then we're going to top that. You want to put your oven at about 350 and you want to get it ready and good preheated. And what you're gonna do is pop this in and when you open it up and you see it bubbling, bubble, 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 and you got that little bit of crust on top where the cheese has got brown. Now you know what I'm talking about, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Let's put this cheese coated on top, get that in the oven, and then I'm gonna come back and show you how we're gonna put together our chicken and waffles. But it's a spicy chicken and waffle, because you know me, I'm a little sassy. So here we go, cheese on, coated good. Make sure you get it covered nice into the oven we go 350 preheat don't take it out till it's bubbling okay let's put our chicken and waffle together right when we get back Okay, now it's time to put the batter together for that southern style jalapeno corn waffle. We're going to do this chicken and waffle style Chef K way. Okay, so we're going to start off and put our batter together and you want to let that set just a little bit so we're going to get that going. Got to just put an egg in here and give it just a little break, break it up, beat it just a little bit. Very good. Then we've got a cornmeal. We're going to use that. So this waffle, I like it. It's more like actually, you know, doing cornbread waffle. So I put that in, a little bit of salt, and then some baking powder. Make sure you're using baking powder, not the baking soda. And get that together, and then we're gonna stir in our egg and our milk. We got about a cup of milk that'll go in here. And then I'm gonna bring some jalapeno to the pate. And there we go, we get that mixed in. Chop up a little of our jalapeno now. I do, a lot of times when I'm work cooking with this stuff, I don't actually seed them because we like a lot of that heat. But for this, we're going to. So we wanna just chop our jalapeno up. Very nice. Now, I like to bring the heat to this. You're gonna see that we have the jalapeno in here and we're gonna finish this off with the sriracha syrup that we put together. Yeah, I did. I said it again. Sriracha. A little heat, heat, heat to the party. We're going south with the twist. Here comes our jalapeno. And like I said, now we're going to stir all this together and we want to let our batter kind of set. And it just lets all the flavors kind of soak in before you actually put it together. Stir that around, looking good. You got that cheese in there, cheddar cheese, jalapeno, cornmeal. Oh, I'm starving. Here we go. So we're gonna put that aside and while we do that, we're gonna do a little ode to my granny and make her lemonade pie. So we're gonna set this over here for now and put together our lemonade pie. 
This is just a graham cracker crust that you can grab. I, as a kid at birthday parties, I wasn't a big cake eater. I didn't really like it that much. So I was always the one that was the kid at the party that would eat all the ice cream off the cake and leave the cake. So when it was my birthday, my grandma, she decided to, she was trying to figure out something else that she could make for me. So she would do that. We're gonna pour this in. This is sweetened condensed milk, and we started with some Cool Whip, and you're gonna be amazed how easy this is, and then how fantastic it tastes. Then we just use frozen lemonade that you can buy in the store. We actually take it, pour this in, and we're gonna fold it in nice and easy. All right, then we just fold it all together. You don't wanna just like go crazy with it. As I always say, be gentle tickle it a little, show a lot of love. My granny put a lot of love in her food and that's the way I like to do it too. That's, you can taste that. That love's in there. Always when I make something, I have everybody say, how come yours always tastes better than mine? I'm like, that's because you gotta remember, you gotta put that extra dose of love in there and that makes it right. So we're gonna fold all this together and let it sit for a little bit. We'll pour it in this pie shell and then we're gonna pop it in the freezer and it's gonna freeze solid. We'll pull it out just a little bit before we eat it and it's gonna be perfect. Okay, so now it's time to put together the chicken and waffle chef K style. So I've soaked my chicken in buttermilk. You can soak it overnight and it gives it nice, keeps it moist, tender, juicy, oh my gosh, perfect. So we're gonna put it in an egg wash here. And then we've got some seasoning that I'm gonna put into my panko. But we're first gonna put flour on it. And this is one of my fun K-hacks because we're gonna bring spicy, spicy to it. I have a lot of cayenne. I got a little Cajun spices. We're gonna put all that in the panko. But this is my K-hack. So when you need to do a little, just on your meat, when you do a little bit of flour, instead of dirtying up another pan, you can just sprinkle it on just like that. It goes back in the egg wash, nice and easy. You can keep it in your kitchen like that, and it actually works perfect for you. And you don't have to dirty another dish, you don't have to make a mess, and you just sprinkle it just like that. Perfect. That's the okay. K-Hack. There you go. So we're gonna do back in the egg wash, and then into our panko. One more we got going here. Excellent. Back. And we are good. Get that good on there right now. Okay, going into the panko. All right, want to make sure that we always get rid of all of this. Get it to your sink. You don't want any cross contamination. Make sure you're washing your hands. I'm using a glove today so I can keep going and show you how to put all this together. I'm going to take it over here and drop it in my oil that I've been heating. Oh, look at that. Beautiful sizzle. That's just what we're looking for. Nice. Lay it in there carefully. You don't want to splash anything on you because that has some hot oil going there. But that's exactly what we're looking for. So we just want to make sure that we get that sizzle going. We're going to let it sit there and do its thing for a little bit. And then we're going to put our waffle in. We're making it all happen right now. So we've got our waffle iron, I've heated it up. We're gonna bring that over here. I've oiled it just a little bit so we don't have to worry about any sticking. Lay your waffle batter in there. You remember that batter? I let it set. Now you see how everything's kind of gotten all thick and ready and made a party and made all those flavors together. So we're gonna put that in there. Then we just close it up and let it do its own thing very easily. Here we go. All right, let's check our chicken. I'm running a marathon today. Here we go. So we put this back. Look, oh, look at that goldenness. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Perfect. That is beautiful. So we're to check our waffle. But what you want to do when you're doing the waffle iron, uh, you want to make sure you'll start seeing it to steam. You know, that start rolling that steam out all sides. That's a good thing. When you see that steam stop, that's when you know it's done. And our chicken's still turning golden brown. Looking beautiful. Oh yeah. You wanna make sure you get the chicken fried. You're gonna have that in there. You wanna get to about 165 to 170 to 180 on there on the chicken in the internal temperature, which I have my thermometer for. Looking at it, taking it in. We are just keep on cooking. But it's getting beautiful golden brown. You wanna make sure you do that. Make sure it's getting Nice and golden. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That is gorgeous. How's our waffle doing? No steam yet. So we're just gonna do it back and forth. I'm doing the dance for you. Here we go. La, la, waffle going south. We got grandma's pie in the freezer. We are ready to roll. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm gonna let that finish up. Look what we got going here. See that steam action? That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful, now I smell the jalapeno. <laughs> I'm getting excited, I always do. Food excites me. So when I was young, I grew up in Italy and the mamas and the grandmas, and they had all this passion about food and that's what they kind of pushed over to me. And I'm ready to you to totally show you how you can do it in your home. And now we've got the waffle, I'm gonna take a look. Oh. There it is, look at that golden brown waffle. That's about ready to come right out. The chicken's about ready to come out. So I'm gonna show you how to plate all this up. And then don't forget about Granny's pie. We're gonna do it all here in just a sec. Okay, so the time has come to pull out that tortellini Alfredo mac and cheese. Here we go, oh my, yes bubbling looking beautiful melted cheese all that everybody fights over those pieces right there uh, but i went because i'm dishing out today so i get it first so we're at, all we're gonna do now is there's nothing left to do but plate up and eat so we're gonna do a little bit of sriracha chili sauce we're gonna put that in here in our syrup and then we're gonna stir it together and get a nice sriracha spicy syrup for our chicken and waffle. We've pulled out our waffle. Take a look at this. Beautiful. Got those pieces and little bits of jalapeno in there. All your seasonings. Got that corn flavor. And then we're gonna put our syrup in here. Very good. Now it's time to bring the chicken to the party. Boom, boom, there it is, look at that. Put a little drizzle over that, just a little nice, oh my, we are ready to dig in for that. We've got our chicken and waffle, now we're gonna put our mac and cheese together. This is another ode to my granny. She's got these plates. I grew up eating on these plates. And it was a lot of fun because I felt like I was in, when I was a little kid, we were like in the cowboy days on the farm. So I just got to keep those for her. And I love using them. I use them every Sunday when we make a special Sunday granny meal. We do a little special treat. Do you guys see this? Are you catching this cheesiness? Ooey gooeyness, oh my, very good. So we've got that, our chicken and waffle, and we can't forget about dessert today. We're gonna do in Granny's pie, the frozen lemonade pie. And I've got just a little bit of nice whipped cream here that we'll just pipe along to make it pretty. A little bit on top. We're gonna shoot a little lemon zest on there. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh yeah, maybe give it a little twist to lemon. What do you think of that? Very nice, I'm happy. I'm ready to dig in, it's time. Let me get my fork. I'm gonna have to hit this mac and cheese first. So today I took you down south, kind of cooking my granny style, doing the chef K twist and putting it all together with our chicken and waffle with the spice, with our mac and cheese, Alfredo mac and cheese, how can you go wrong with that? And our frozen lemonade pie. I'm so happy you were with me today. We did south, taking the taste buds south. All right, come back and see me again.